Greetings and shalom. This is Adrian Scott, and you're on Truth and Testimony, the broadcast. Uh, just doing an update video here, and in a bit of a twist, this is kind of an update video for myself as well as Ray. Um, there's been, I'm sure if anyone that follows the channel, a little bit of an absence of, of content. And just both Ray and I wanted to just be as upfront as we could be to say that there's just a lot of stuff going on. Um, he may have potentially even the worse of it than I do. But um, yeah, it's it's been at a point. Well, I'll speak for me and we can touch on, on Ray in a moment here. But um, one of the difficulties that I find myself in in my life, and this really can apply to anything, is I, I am very much a one trick pony. It, it is one thing at a time. And there is so much going on in my world right now, in my work life, in my home life with my family, and just with everything, I have been feeling very overwhelmed. And uh, unfortunately, I have a tendency when I'm in that situation to just kind of shut off and the brain stops working. And I have to kind of force myself back into stuff and just try to tackle one thing at a time. But in the meantime, that has kind of been my lack of presence a little bit has just been this idea that I, I'm feeling very overwhelmed of the responsibilities that I have and the things that I need to do. And unfortunately, it has reflected in, you know, a lack of uh, just getting stuff out there for everyone, because ultimately... Um, Ray and I, we, we both believe in this channel. We, we both have every intention of continuing the channel and fostering it and helping it to grow and just reaching as many people as possible. That has not changed for, for either one of us. And so both of us really have been kind of feeling bad about the fact that they're, we haven't really been doing much of anything. And so that's hence why I'm kind of here. Now he's in the middle of the road, um, not sure. I think Wyoming or something the last time I talked to him, but uh, out on the road at any rate. And um, so he actually asked if I could, you know, sort of mention on his behalf as well. So from my standpoint, that's one of the big things that I've been going through. Now, additionally, <laughs> gotta love technology when my, my computer has also been, it, it's near the end of its life. The one that I do all my video editing on. And this is one reason why I'm on my phone right now. But um, it still works and I'm kind of nursing it through and we are, you know, the wife and I um, starting to plan out uh, looking at a possible upgrade for me and replacing some of the stuff that I'm having issues with my computer, which will also just be a general upgrade and, and make the whole process for me more efficient. Um, and I'll tell you, I, I mean, anyone that has ever done any of this stuff would know but for, for those of you that may not have any experience with this stuff, I'll tell you, recording content, doing stuff like that, sitting in front of a camera like this and speaking, for the most part, tends to be the easy part. It is the pre-planning um, when you're doing, you know, in my case, videos that might be high topic stuff, um, Hebrew roots, the creation and evolution. And there is a lot of what they call pre-production which is scripting stuff out, researching material, coming up with links. Um, in my case, because I don't like to write scripts. I like to speak off the top of my head. So I'll just sit there and I'll, I'll cram watching stuff for a while just to get it refreshed in my brain and then fire up a camera and start going. Um, but I like to do all that. But that's all considered part of that pre-production. But then the hardest part of producing any kind of video content really, it falls in the category of what they call post-production. And that's your editing where you're getting rid of mistakes, you might add a music bed, whatever screen graphics you're gonna have, effects, anything like that. All of that comes in. I mean, if you take a typical movie, um, they'll, they'll film that and the actual filming cycle where they're recording actors acting may only be a few weeks, two, three, four weeks maybe. And that can be an entire shoot for a movie. But then for the next five months, they're in post-production, editing, mixing, engineering, all of that stuff. 
And so it's no different for us. And then when you take Ray and I, it's literally a case of we're a one man show. I mean, and with those people, they have crews doing all of that. So they'll have the camera crew and then they hand it over to the production crew and then they hand it over to the editing crew. Ray and I are doing all of that on our own. Uh, I don't have any assistance working on this. Neither does he. And uh, so it, it, needless to say, the point is it takes a lot of work to make a single video and then to try to produce stuff on, on a regular basis just makes it that much more challenging than trying to do it when you're working a full-time job and raising a family um, makes it even harder and you just keep going and going and adding and adding and you end up where we're at. That's part of me feeling overwhelmed. Um, you know, if I could just record a five minute video and, and do it straight up to air, that would be one thing. But I do like to research information. I want to make sure that when I'm speaking, I'm being as accurate as possible. And I know Ray's the same way. He doesn't want to just go blindly into stuff. I mean, there's, there's a method to the, well, I don't want to say method to the madness because it's not madness in his case, but you know, there's, there's a plan there. There's a, there's a goal he's attempting to accomplish and it takes some effort to accomplish that. Now in Ray's case, um, and this leads to something else I'm going to get into, but in Ray's case, there, there's some more pressing concerns that are going on. Um, and this involves people around him, close to him. There's some health stuff going on. There's some, you know, social stuff going on. Um, and it can be deeply impactful to anybody having to go through things like this. And I mean, Ray is no exception to that. He's, he's just as human as anyone else. And so this has been a lot of stuff that's been weighing on him very heavily. And it's a struggle just to get through a day and perform your regular day job. Now to add producing video content um, on top of that, that, that's a whole other thing. And Ray and I do share another thing, which is when we're making this content for Truth and Testimony and him additionally for his uh, Life on the Road with Yeshua and Trucker Ray channel, um, I don't want to go halfway. I mean, you want to do it right. You want it to look good, sound good, be interesting. And I mean, we could just, there's an expression, an old expression to say, mail it in, to mail in a performance. And I think I've mentioned this before that neither one of us are comfortable doing that. We don't want to just mail something in. We don't want to do it because we need to do it. Let's put it that way. We don't want to make a video and get it posted on Truth and Testimony or his other channel because we need to, because we're obligated to. We want to do it because we want to, you know, and that translates. If you feel forced into doing it and you're just doing it to get something up, it, it reflects. People aren't going to connect with it. And it's not going to be very interesting. And frankly, it's not going to be very good. And so neither one of us like to do that. And that actually can then go feed back into the whole thing where we feel bad about not putting up any more content than we've been doing. And um, that just makes, for me, more of that overwhelmed feeling. So this is kind of the icebreaker to get this video up to talk about that. Now, the thing that both of this leads into is um, neither one of us uh, are are afraid to ask for some help. And so that's kind of what I'm doing right now. And the, the biggest help I think that could happen for us right now is just prayer. Um, so we would ask, you know, for all of you out there that, that follow us on either channel, um, that you would just keep us in, in, in your prayers, in your thoughts and prayers and uh, prayers in particular, because you can be in the worst situation and God can still work a wonder, you know, and we could use a little bit of healing and, and rejuvenation right now and, and some direction and just patient patience to stick with it, not to give up. You know, there's things bigger than us at play and, and that we would just be able to hang in there and be functional enough to do these videos that will reflect well on him. I mean, that's another thing I can say for both Ray and myself. We're, we're not doing these videos for our own glory. We're doing this for the glory of the creator. And 
if we, if our heart's not in it, we're not glorifying anyone, certainly not him. So to just have the patience, the discernment, and like I said, the, the healing and just the help in general from, from the father that will get us through these things. And we do apologize for the lack of content that should go without saying, but, um, we, as I mentioned earlier, we have every intention of, of working on the channel. It's not like we're abandoning this. We're just trying to kind of get our head out of the, the mud and get our acts together so that we can do more content and the kind of content for our channels that, that should be done when, when your topic is the heavenly father. Um, I don't think anything less than your best is appropriate. And I know, I, I know Ray's with me on that one as well. So I'll kind of wrap it up there. I don't want to belabor it too long. Um, I will say that very shortly after I'm going to be recording this video right now, I am getting into my studio and I have topics. I have things that I want to do for videos and I'm just going to start working on them. Um, my family, I, I can say I'm really blessed for sure that they're very understanding and, and encouraging me to do this. And that my wife, you know, in many cases will pick up some of the slack to enable me to focus more on doing this stuff as I am very much that one trick pony. And she's been with me long enough that she knows that. <laughs> And uh, I am so blessed and fortunate to have her in my life, um, truly. So I'll, I'll finish it up there. Um, prayers, welcome, absolutely. And on the flip side, uh, don't be afraid if you have a prayer request yourself, because you know what? That's a blessing to us if, if we have that opportunity to pray for someone else as well. And that helps rejuvenate us as well. So if you have any prayer requests, you know, please feel free. Um, the email is attached to everything, but it is truth and testimony email at gmail.com. Again, truth and testimony. That's A N D, not and similar or anything. Truth and testimony email at gmail.com. You can email us or you can absolutely just leave it in the comments below. The email can be a little more personal if you want to keep it private. But uh, if you have any prayer requests, please, by all means, um, we can help you out and you'll be helping us out. In the meantime, you know, prayers for us as well for that just healing and discernment and wisdom and strengthening to get through troubling times. Um, and on that note, I will just say uh, we look forward to seeing you in our upcoming videos. Uh, Maria and I have been discussing a little bit of an update video on some of the current events that are going on in the world, not the least of which is the stuff in the Middle East. Um, so we may be getting together to, to kind of do a little round table discussion on that. So you can look forward to that one. In the meantime, we do have all those intentions and plans to get some stuff happening. Um, Ray, I almost forgot, did also extend apologies to everyone that he was unable to get this um, week's episode of Power Praise Radio up. It will go up. Uh, it's just a question of when he can get to it. So that will be coming. And for everyone that's been checking that out, and we're hoping you, that really you're enjoying that one as well. We we had such a great time doing that show. It's a great piece of our history. And just to look back on it now, it's it's nice. And, and we, we're hoping and praying that providing this stuff now will be a blessing to, to you out there. So thanks again for everything. Thanks for your patience and for hanging in there with us. And the channel is going to grow and be bigger and stronger. Um, it, it's going to. I don't have any fear of that. Um, the father's, he can do anything he wants. Nothing is beyond the reach of his arm. You know, I should say, uh, don't forget to like the video, share it and subscribe to the channel. If you've not done so, um, hit the notification bells to be notified when we do upload the content that is coming. <laughs> and uh, yeah, when you when you do the notification bell as well, you want to make sure that you change it from personalized to all. Um, otherwise, particularly when you're doing the kind of content that Ray and I are doing, the YouTube algorithms can be a little jinky sometimes. And that just helps to bypass that by selecting all on notifications. So with that being said, I will say shalom.
uh, and bye for now until the next video.